ELI-5 in North America. Why do we not bury utility lines in cities and towns like they do in Europe? I mainly grew up in Germany. But when we would go back to the States for family vacations, I was always surprised that there were so many ugly power lines strung everywhere. Now that I live in the States full time, this still bothers me. It makes many otherwise elegant towns look cluttered and messy. In addition to being ugly, it seems more dangerous as the lines are exposed to animals, the elements, falling trees, etc. Burying power lines is a lot more expensive than stringing them in the air. It is more difficult to install and maintain them. Burying infrastructure is usually reserved for when it makes sense to invest that effort even. Germany isn't going to be burying power lines running through long distances of undeveloped land. Germany has an average population density of about 240 people per square kilometer. The USA has an average population density of about 36 people per square kilometer. The USA is also about 27 times larger than Germany. Most of the time it just doesn't make sense to bury power lines in the US. Who said we don't? Older areas will tend to have overhead power lines. Newer areas bury utilities. Just depends on what makes sense for the area and the local building codes. It is way more expensive per mile to bury utility lines. So it is only done in limited situations. When you bury an electrical line the digging is more expensive than the poles. The high-pressure oil insulation is more expensive than insulating a hanging wires. And repairing them is way more expensive and takes significantly longer. Add all that to the fact that the U.S. has way more miles of lines than any single European country. And you have your answer. A local cooperative in Texas is currently charging $5,000 per span i.e. 300 feet of overhead single phase. Underground ERD is $15,000 for the same length. This is in soil with no impediments. Doing it in a downtown area like Austin would triple even that. Due to the underground water pipes, sewage, paving, etc., most of which is poorly documented. If this were a three-phase trunk feeder and could not be designed into a loop feed, it would probably have a separate fourth conduit run with wire enclosed as an emergency backup, further increasing the cost. New construction always buries them, but the USA had all of the aerial utilities before Europe. So many of them predate the undergrounding standards. In addition to the other answers, on the West Coast you have an additional factor that Germany doesn't earthquakes. While an earthquake can damage both buried and above ground lines, it's faster and cheaper to repair the above ground lines. And in a major earthquake repairing and restoring power is a priority. This comment section is absurd. X200B. New developments bury utility lines and many municipalities are actively converting from overhead to underground. It just takes time and money. Nobody is choosing to go overhead rather than go underground if they can afford it. X200B. The amount of people in here trying to justify it out of patriotism is silly. I work for a utility and in my city, there's a bylaws to protect above ground utility poles to accommodate the movie industry. Apparently it's hard to film a movie set in Brooklyn 1968 without poles in the background. The utility poles make the city more competitive as a film location. We do. But there are real issues with buried utility lines. There is a project in SoCal to repair some underground power lines and the budget and time. Estimates are hilarious. Inertia. There is not a huge demand from the rate payers for this. Especially when told we can move the lines but it will cost you money in higher rates. And we will also have to rewire the final connection from our main conduit to your home. Which will cost you money directly. 
Our customers are electric cooperatives. And I've heard it said that underground is 10x as expensive as overhead. You can repair overhead several times and still come out cheaper. Utilities also have pole inspection programs done by themselves or contracted out to keep an eye on everything. Poles get checked every few years for structural integrity. If it looks iffy, they might even drill a little hole to check inside for rot. Cost? Only a guess but it's definitely cheaper to run them above ground rather than bury them. I have lived in both scenarios. Underground are typically in urban or newer suburban. Above ground are rural or older suburban. I think density and costs are main driving forces. I live in Ontario. Our city has been burying lines since at least 1986 when my family built a house in a new subdivision. Since then, I've lived in two other newer neighborhoods where the lines were buried as well. Generally speaking whenever you have a question that is why doesn't the USA do this smarter, prettier safer kinder thing that other countries do? The answer is money. This is why they are the richest country in the world. That was the main thing they cared about for a long time.